sponsored by Doctors Implants, home of the six hour smile. Well, there's a change when it comes to mammograms. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration now requires doctors to not only tell a patient the results, but also include another critical detail, whether they have dense breasts. But what does that mean? Dina Baer reports. I'm going to start with two views of each breast, and then you'll have results before you go. My hand is very chilly. I'm going to lift you up. Okay. That arm can stay down by your side. This left hand is going to come up and hold the grip. Some pushing and pulling now. Some compression here. It's a bit uncomfortable. Hold your breath. Breathe and relax, good. But not unbearable. Only three more compressions. Turn in just a little bit, perfect. There really is no pain. Okay, here we go, a little tight. But when it comes to mammography breast images. All right, I'm very happy with them. So you can take a seat right in here. I'm gonna go show Dr. Bole the images. There is a huge gain. The key to mammograms is early detection. So our goal in screening mammographies to catch cancer the earliest that we can find it, and that's before you can actually feel it. The earlier we catch it, the easier it is to treat. If radiologists see something even the slightest bit concerning, they look more deeply. So the radiologist wants a couple extra views. By giving her that extra information, she'll be able to tell if this is um, tissue or if there's actually an abnormality at that area. Mammography is the gold standard for breast cancer detection. Well, mammograms are the only modality that we can really pick up the earliest sign of breast cancer, which are calcifications. But now, even if there are no signs of breast cancer, doctors may still raise a red flag if a woman has dense breasts. You do have dense breast tissue. So um, basically, when we talk about breast density, it's talking about the ratio of the fibroglandular tissue, which is the white, compared to the fat in your breast, which is the dark areas. If you have dense breast tissue, which 50% of our population does, that white mass or white calcification is gonna be masked in a background of white tissue. I love the analogy of a polar bear in a snowstorm. So if you have a white polar bear and you put them in a snowstorm, it's really, really hard to see that polar bear. Are people with dense breasts also more likely to develop breast cancers? So it's kind of twofold. So one is, it's more difficult to see, so cancers can be masked. But secondarily, people with dense breast tissue do have an increased risk of breast cancer compared to those do not. That's why the post-mammography summary report now must include data on density. So there's now new legislation that women should be informed of their breast density. So it's a really, really incredible tool that women have. Knowledge is power. Armed with the knowledge, patients with dense breasts will be urged to talk with their health care provider. So it means that you're perfectly normal, but it does mean that in addition to annual mammography, you should be talking to your doctor or looking up, thinking about yourself, pushing for supplemental screening. So now that the doctor's taken a look at your images, she would like to have that follow-up ultrasound. That's going to show the tissue in another way, give her even more information so we can give you results. You simply lie on a table. Mammography uses radiation to kind of look through that breast tissue. Ultrasound uses sound waves. So we're looking here to see, is there anything that's standing out? And it would show up as dark on an ultrasound. So you're looking for white on the mammogram and dark on the ultrasound. Absolutely. A breast ultrasound picks up four cancers in 1,000 that hide on mammogram. A supplemental scan finds 15 to 18 cancers missed by mammogram among a thousand women. And our studies are showing that MRI is the superior choice for supplemental screening. Supplemental screening means more women find their cancer early. We know the most life saved is when we screen women at age 40 every year. The key to survival is really that early detection. Perfect. And that's why Dr. Bull says women should think of every month as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. October may be the time to educate, but pick your own month and every year at that time, make your appointment and encourage the people you love, friends and family to do the same. If more women get screened and advocate for themselves when they learn they have dense breasts, we continue to see more breast cancer survivors.